Hello, I'm the Sleep Time Storyteller. My name's Julie Kelly and I'm here to help you to achieve a deep, restful, undisturbed sleep. Tonight I'm going to take you on a journey back in time to an old working town street in Victorian England. If you can, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the bell icon. That way you'll get to know first when any other bedtime stories are released. Also, please like, share and comment. I love to hear your feedback. And also, I'd love if my videos benefited others. But for now, find yourself a comfortable, restful position in the bed. Underneath the duvet or the blanket. All tucked up, snuggled and warm. And as you relax, feel yourself become enveloped in that warmth and comfort. With each in-breath, relax and snuggle deeper. And with each out-breath, feel your body becoming heavier and heavier as you let yourself go into the mattress allowing it to take full support of all of your body. You can rest easy now. Any parts of your body that feel tense or tight, relax them and let them go. And as you relax deeper and deeper, you're transported to an old working class street back in the 1900s. It's silent. And you find yourself wearing the traditional clothes. You're wearing an old shawl and a long Victorian dress. It feels so different, but somehow you fit in with everything. The street is so silent. It's the early hours of the morning, perhaps maybe one or two o'clock. There is no sound except the occasional horse and carriage that clip-clops past you on the cobble roads. You seem invisible. They go right past you on the street. But no one seems to see you. You rub your hands together because the weather is icy and you can see your breath in front of your face. You're cold but fascinated and you feel totally relaxed and totally at ease in the silence. It's strange really because when you listen really, really deeply you can hear a whole plethora of sounds an owl hooting in the background a stray dog barking But, until you do really listen, the whole place seems silent. As morning approaches, you can hear an old church bell in the background and every so often, you can hear the clip-clop of heels along the cobble street from the ladies of the night who've just finished plying their tread and are now going home. You're feeling tired now. 
tired and cold. There's nowhere to go and nothing to do. And so you walk a little bit further down the cobble road, really listening, really heightening all those senses, taking in everything around you. You don't know how long you've been walking, but very soon you notice a nearby tavern. It looks warm and cosy. There's a light in the window. You're not the type of person who would go into a pub or an inn alone. But somehow it feels right. And so you walk up to the building and open the door. You can hear people talking and there's a fire burning, crackling away with wood. Nobody seems to notice you. But there you can warm yourself up. You sit for a while, warming your hands in front of the fire. You're watching everyone, raising the glasses, making a noise, chattering. And you wonder if, as a lady on your own, you're out of place, but nobody notices. You can see everything and experience everything. The warmth, the coziness, the chattering, the welcoming. But nobody, nobody can see you. Everyone is going about their business. And you, you're there on a different realm. Relaxed, comfy, and totally at ease, taking in every sight and sound. The smell of cigarette smoke fills the air. Or is it pipe tobacco? Soon, a plump, red-faced lady comes over to where you're sat. At last, somebody's seen you, somebody's noticed you. She smiles and takes you by the hand. You don't know where you're going, but she leads you through a door and up some creaking, rackety stairs. She opens the door and there is a bed. The room's very sparse, nothing much in it, but it's a bed. It's a bed with sheets and a blanket and one single pillow, but you're tired. She smiles and closes the door and there you snuggle down in the bed. After a while, you've drifted. Drifted away into the deepest, calmest, undisturbed, restful sleep. Sleep well, my friend.